Hi, my name's Tom. If you are new to the channel, one of the things that I do a lot of is I review and test out different implements, tractors, uh, tractor parts, and other pieces of machinery. And today I'm going to take a couple minutes and tell you about something that I did a review on about a year or so ago. And I was kind of on the fence about it. It was the first time I would bought one. And it seemed okay when I first got it. But now that I've had it for a little bit and I've, I've used it for over a year, I'm going to tell you right now what I really think about it, and I'll, I'll try to be PG about it. So stick around for a second. I'm going to tell you all about the Pat's Easy Change system. Well, tonight I'm here in the shop, and I'm actually trying to right a wrong. Last summer I, uh, or spring, I had made a review about the Pat's Easy Change system, which is basically one of these claw hooks. It changes your ball hook into a claw on your, your uh, draft links on your three-point hitch. And I'm going to tell you right now why it's a complete waste of money and not worth your time. So, to start with, these right here are not cheap and they are required to go on the end of it. And then you put your spring pin down and through here. Now, because of the way these draft link pins are right here, so this is your draft link pin. When you've got that claw hook on there, there's a lot of slop going back and forth laterally. And so what it does is it pinches these and then it ends up breaking it and then this goes flying off. And next thing you know, you're driving around with your push hog or whatever else you're using with only the top length and the other side holding it on. So if you like buying a whole bunch of these, well, there's, there's the first problem. And even if you buy these with the, the heavy duty ones with the chain on it, they're still, they're still not that great. They don't, they don't last. And so that's, that's one of the biggest problems. The second biggest problem is that these latches right here are always bending. So you can't latch it down. It's supposed to slide across. So these latches right here, they slide across right here and they latch it. So that stops this right here from opening and then opening up the ball. Well, what happens is this gets bent down. You can see it's kind of bent here and then it, you can't get it off or you can't get it back on because it's it's flattened there's also when you put so put this on there's a spreader bar that, that what it does is it keeps your draft links spread apart and that pretty much bent within the first hour i used it the, the power takeoff when you when you lift your implement it's going to bind up on that that spreader bar and one of the others is going to break and Thankfully, it was the spreader bar, but it's not definitely not worth the extra cost to buy that. And so, you've got all this slop in here. You've got all these bolts you tighten up here, and even if you put Loctite on them, which I did, they still work loose. And then next thing you know, you got this thing going every which way, and your your implement is all all jacked up. And it comes with these these U bolts right here that that hold it on. Well, you can see this one's broken, so that's no good. I don't like to come on here and, and talk negative about a piece of equipment unless I think it's an absolute piece of garbage and a waste of money. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Pat's Easy Change system is the biggest waste of money of any implement or, or tractor part that I've bought in, in my 50 years of my life. It, it looks like it's a good idea. And I guess it'd be right for a weight box or something you're not actually doing work with, but for, for bush hog and rototilling, Rotary mowing, when I mean say rotary mowing, I mean, you know, with a lawnmower, uh, greater blade, York rake, all those things, it won't hack it. It's going to be all jacked up, bent, you're going to lose the spring pins, lose the washers, the latches stick, your spreader bar breaks, and you also need a different top link because your standard top link probably won't be long enough. What happens is those, those claws, those stick out about this much more, and especially with the, with the smaller tractors, you just can't. Get the you know you get your, your top link extended fully and it doesn't fit so you have to go buy another one. And I and I again I, I hate to sit here and, and badmouth something, but I hate to also see you go buy something, and then be as disappointed with it as me. And it's just worked itself loose and you can go around and tighten things up, but then you know once it's broken, and everything starts breaking and you, you get implements falling off out in the field. It's not worth it. Go buy yourself a set of draft lengths with either the, the telescoping slide-out rods on it or or something. Um, 
anyway, that's all I got for today. I'm really mad, and I'm, I'm trying not to swear here, so I've been throwing stuff around a little bit. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time.